In this Blender tutorial we will have an in-depth look at the Array Modifier. The Array Modifier creates an array of copies of the base object, with each copy being offset using a few different methods. This tutorial is aimed at beginner users who have a basic understanding of how to use Blender. During this tutorial you will be able to see the required mouse and keyboard inputs at the bottom right of the screen as indicated, as well as verbal explanations. To add the array modifier click on the cube to select it, then click on the modifiers icon. Then click on Array, from the drop-down list. Fit type controls how the length of the array is determined. Fixed count is the default fit type, other options are length and curve. Count is the number of objects in the fixed count array. The relative offset creates new objects, based on the size of the original object. I will move into top orthographic view, to demonstrate this further. The fixed count of 2, with an offset of 1 on the x-axis, creates an additional cube on the x-axis. Switching into wireframe mode, gives us a better view of the mesh makeup in the array. Using a relative offset of 1, creates objects next to each other. Increasing the relative offset, increases the distance between the objects, based on the size of the original. Increasing the count, adds more objects to the array. The relative offset on the Y and Z axis can also be adjusted to create different array patterns. The constant offset creates copies in the array based on a specified unit of distance. The units of distance is currently set to meters. If you need to, the units can be adjusted from within the context menu. When calculating the distance between objects, in relative offset or constant offset mode, Blender uses the object's center of mass. Currently we have a fixed count of 11 with no offset. This means there are 11 objects in the same place. The information at the bottom right shows that there are 88 vertices and 66 faces. Increasing the offset on the x-axis moves the objects in the array along the axis. As the cube is two units wide on the x-axis, a distance of less than two will create overlapping cubes. When using constant or relative offsets, we need to use the distance from the object's center, entering a fixed count of two, and a constant offset of 3 units, we can see the center points of the cubes are 3 units apart. The following examples demonstrate that the relative and constant offset methods are calculated from each object's center, even when the point of origin is in a different location.
It is also possible to use the relative and constant offsets together. This produces an offset of the combined offset methods. In this example, the offset in the array is a combination of one object and two units. We will now look at the fit length, fit type. Fit length creates as many objects that is possible within the set distance. The number of objects in the array is adjusted to fit within the fit length. This includes the distance of the offsets between the objects. We will now look at creating an array along a curve. The first step is to add a curve. Any curve can be used, I will use a bezier curve for this demonstration. The bezier curve can be adjusted by extruding, moving and rotating the nodes. It's best not to make the bends of the bezier curve too sharp, as the mesh object can become distorted around sharp bends. I will use the Suzanne monkey head as the mesh object for this array. Click on the Add Modifier menu, and select the Array Modifier. Select Fit Curve as the Fit Type, and add the Curve object into the Curve dialog box. An array has been created the length of the curve. A Curve Modifier needs to be added to align the array to the curve. A curve modifier is added from the modifier menu, and the curve object is added to the object dialog box. The array is then aligned along the curve. The mesh objects will rotate along the rotation of the curve. This can be adjusted by adjusting the curve in edit mode. We will now look at the object offset method. I will create an array of Suzanne monkey heads using the cube as the offset object. The object offset is selected and the cube object is added to the dialog box. The object offset method creates an array using the distance and direction relationship between the offset object and the array object. Other offset methods can be included to create an array that has a combination of offset methods. A common use of the object offset is to create a circular array. I will now demonstrate how this can be done. 
I will create a circular array of Susan monkey heads. Push tab to go into edit mode, then move the object along the X axis. This will leave the point of origin in the center. Push tab to go into object mode, then add an empty, plane axis. Add an array modifier to the monkey. The empty as the offset object. No other offsets and a fixed count of 20. To create the circular array the empty needs to be rotated on the z-axis. For the array objects to be spread evenly around the circle the number of degrees needs to be calculated. The amount of rotation can then be entered into the object properties menu. We will now look at the Merge Vertices option. When Merge is selected, vertices between adjacent objects within the set distance are merged. This example is excessive but demonstrates the functionality. The first last option determines if vertices from the first and last objects are also merged. We will now look at the UV offset and start and end cap options. For this demonstration I will work in materials preview mode and will create this array. The UV offset moves the UV maps of an object this moves the texture for each object in the array, giving each object a slightly different look. First I will create an array of three cubes on the z-axis, with a relative offset of 1.1. .1. For the purposes of this tutorial, I have created some basic materials for the array objects. I will now go into the shading workspace and add a brick texture to the cube. The texture is available from cctextures.com. Copied objects in the array adopt the same texture properties as the original. Adjusting the UV offset realigns the UV map of the copies, which moves the texture of the copied objects. The start and end cap allows you to select objects to be at the start and end of the array. For this demonstration I have used a cylinder as the start cap and a monkey head as the end cap. This is the end of the tutorial. If you found this tutorial useful please click like and leave a comment.